Another thing is this, certain incentives for manufacturing become very important and relevant. Do the SEZ needs to come back? I think the government should look into this. Worldwide, we have a SEZ. Out of, uh, you can say, majority of the countries in the world have SEZ. And why India had an SEZ has, been, has not been, uh, has gone into oblivion and the government has not extended the SEZ 10A exemption. I think it is, it's not only they create employment, it's not they ins bring a new investment in the country is concerned, it's incentivized manufacturing is concerned. And in today's time, it's not only the employment we need very badly. Today we need to capture the businesses which are migrating from China. I think we need to roll out such certain incentives because these incentives, consequential advantage to the country m is much, much more than only foregoing in the taxes is concerned. It should not be seen as a tax tax issue. It should be seen as an impetus for the growth of the businesses, for the growth of GDP, for the growth of getting more employment in the country is concerned. So if I summarize it, individuals needs to be touched, individual taxation needs to be tweaked, which have not been touched from five, six years, they're hard pressed. Work from home, certain incentives needs to be given, certain deductions need to be given. The government must look into that. It is coming, it is coming worldwide. We are hearing yesterday Canada gave it. So there will be another country has already given it. So it will fall back like this, basically. It should look to the corporate, do only try to streamline it, the taxes regime, give clarification and equalization levy, give something on TCS issues which have been raised before the government quite a few times. The government must look into that so that we do not have litigation in the new taxes which are being, are being introduced by the government. And must give, welcome the industry welcome the industry manufa manufacturing come from them. They will contribute to the employment, they'll contribute to the GDP, and it brings a whole ecosystem, basically, of growth, momentum. And today India is, and finally I must say that, much better place as compared to other places in the world. India has managed the pandemic extremely, extremely well. And we can see the end seems to be near now. We is not uh, too far away. And hence, we should be the first and heads up in the race to bring the business back to them with the right policy, with the right fiscal incentive, with the right pumping in money, creation of demand, leading to the creation of uh, jobs, basically, and overall growth of the country. I still believe India will turn out 21, 22, which should be, India will be the, can be the shining glory, right policies, right framework for law. I think the, is, the intent of the government is very good, the intent of the government is very progressive, very, very progressively listening to the industry, listening to the business. I think we can see a very good growth path, momentum, growth rate coming in 21, 22. And I wish all the best for this. Thank you so much.